be pitching you stuff. Like, <laughs> For both of you guys, the, the late game stuff in the second half of the year was often a struggle, especially offensively. This is two games in a row now, playoff games, where you've closed it out by, by getting good looks. What, what is the biggest thing that's evolved, you think, for this team uh, to get to the point where you can execute so well offensively down the stretch? Uh, I mean, just the whole team, we trust each other. You know, um, it doesn't matter down the stretch who takes the shot. Um, just find an open guy. Everybody put the work in, so, you know, and I trust my teammates, so. For sure, I can't wait to pass it to them if they're open. You want me to ask that too? Yeah. Uh, um, I think our organization has been good. Um, getting to a few sets that we really like. Stuff that uh, is easy for Ant to read. And, uh, you know, he makes plays late game. And we, as a supporting cast, got to be around him and, um, and, and, and help him out. And he's done a good job of uh, finding us late games and giving us confidence. How d uh Ant Finch has talked about how important starts are to the game. You come on, you got 13 points in the first couple minutes of this game. What did you have right away out of the jump here? Um, I just felt good. Um, yeah, I think that's the main thing. I didn't have anything. And my teammates found me on some easy layups. You know, I've never got that many easy buckets, so um, that was pretty fun. And uh, how important is that mentality of yours uh, before this game, before uh, facing the, the um, the champions, the actor champions. So how important is that mentality for you and for the team? How do you take that mentality to them? Um, I mean, I lost to these guys last year, you know, um, and they are the defending champs. They're a hard team to beat. Great team, they got great players. Um, they got the best player in the league with N Nikola Jokic. Um, to me, they got the best closer with um, Jamal Murray, um, the best three-point shooter with Michael Porter Jr. So it's tough to beat this team. It's not just my mentality, it's the team mentality. We come in and, and you know, we, we know it's going to be a war. And, um, you know, we just, we just play within the game and, and just stay within the game. They make runs. We know we got to make our runs and just fight, man. It's going to be a fight. Mike, Nikhil said in the locker room the other day that you wait to score. That, and, and was the second half one of those occasions where you knew you had to come out and be a, a scorer and be a much more aggressive? Yeah, no, Ant was shooting all the balls in the first half. So <laughs> it, was hard to, it was hard to get a, get a rhythm. No, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, you just got to gotta play with the flow of the game. You know, he had it going, um, got us out to an early lead. And uh, for me, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable, you know, waiting until the second half. And I've, I've done that a lot throughout my career. Um, you know, I've done that a lot this season. You know, the guys trust me to do that and be aggressive. Um, they all tell me to, to shoot more and look for my shot more. And uh, tonight was one of those nights. But, Ant, you're also one of those people, everybody's saying you're trusting your teammates. When your teammates were as cold as almost everybody was in the first half, does that make it harder when you know you're on? What, make what hard? Make it harder to get off the ball? No. Um, no, not at all. I mean, these guys going to make shots. I mean, everybody going to miss shots. I, I'm going to miss shots. I'm not going to make all my shots. I don't care how many shots they miss. If they're open, I'm going to pass it every single time. I see the work that they put in, you know. So, yeah, I don't care how many shots you, you take, make, or miss. I'm going to throw it to you if you open. And the team challenge is obvious. You're coming into the opposing players building and then the defending champs. Is there any part of the individual challenge that speaks to you that gets you excited? I mean, you, you're going up against a team that has the guy considered the best player in the league, reigning finals MVP, could win a third MVP this year. Um, but you have something to say for how you can play. I mean, does that excite you at all? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Going against the best player in the world is always fun. Um, going against the best team in the world is always fun. Um, and like I said, man, they're well coached. Um, they're disciplined. They're not going to beat themselves. And I feel like our coaching staff did a great job of, of game planning um, throughout the three, four days that we had. And our guys came out and competed tonight. So it's not, a, it's not about just me personally. It's about my team. You know, they, they give me confidence also. I mean, seeing them third quarter, I didn't do anything. I was just out there running up and down. And Mike and Kat came out big for us. So that gave me confidence, you know, to try to find myself. And you had a big game, but uh, your sixth man of the year came up big time for you guys tonight. Talk about what you saw from Nas tonight in that second half and um, what he did for you guys. Um, he just, he stayed patient. You know, um, it's a lot of growth within Nas, man. Like, um, he didn't check out the game. He wasn't worried about his makes or misses. He just kept playing. And I think defense got him going tonight. Um, 
coach told him to start fronting, and he started fronting. We got a couple steals. He was able to get out, um, get some putbacks, play off the catch. Um, he just he played within the within the flow tonight. He didn't let he didn't let nothing bother him as far as the game not going his way. And eventually it'll come to you, man, if you be patient. And um, he did that, man. And he came up big. He was the reason we won tonight. Obviously, this is for both of you guys. This franchise hasn't been at this stage in 20 plus years. How much of this do you guys relish introducing the Timberwolves against the champions in their building in this, you know, sort of environment? Man, uh, I think Ann will say the same. I think we're we're just locked in on yeah. on what we're doing. Was 20 like, years ago, yeah, yeah we didn't, we haven't. We, I wasn't. About I it. probably wasn't even born when they. Had. <laughs> World. Yeah, I mean, I don't even, <clears throat> I don't even think it's about that. We just, we just coming out to play. Yeah, it's it's not about introducing us to nobody. We, we know who we are. We don't care what people say or what people think about us. We we're a collective group. Uh, we trust each other. It's all love between us, and um, we're well coached. So you know, we coming out, and as long as we got each other back, it don't really matter what anybody else thinks. Kind of following your career from the moment you were drafted, it seemed like the one thing that you've always wanted to defy about people's opinion of you is that you would never be a good shooter in the NBA or that you might be a, you know, a, a below average shooter. Over the years, just how much work have you put into your shot and becoming the kind of shooter that you are today? Um, a lot of work, man. It's, 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 it's a lot of work. Um, super tiring, but um, it's all worth it when, it when it shows like on nights like tonight. Um, because, of course, when I came in the league, the thing was I couldn't shoot. So, I mean, those summers that I had leading up to now was, was me, C. Hines, and Key was a lot of work, man. Just shooting, just shooting. Some days we're going in and just shoot 2,000 shots. So, um, definitely, man, it was, it was tough. This is for Mike over here. Um, the fact that Nuggets are a smart team and, and run their offense very well, run, the, run everything very well. How does that appeal to you at, in the chess match of it? That's first. And second, how have you seen the guy next to you grow the most over the last year or so? Yeah, um, we got our work cut out. You know, they're a team that they they run their offense, you know, almost perfectly every time. There's nobody too sped up, nobody rushed. Um, they cut, they play off each other. and. It's a tough team to defend, and um, it's going to be a chess match. You know they're going to change things by you know by quarter, by play, um, and we have to be able to adjust to them uh, as much as they adjust to us. And um, so it's going to be a you know a long long road on this one. But um, we just got to keep grinding and figuring that out. But as far as Amp, um, just really proud of the way he's he's accepted uh, the kind of growth that he needed to you know, needed to have to to be where he's at right now. Because uh, a lot of that has to do with him understanding the game better. Um, understanding how to, you know, play play off his teammates when things, you know, when they're doubling him and, and making it tougher on him, he's able to make it make our life easier. Um, trusting us, and uh, it's not easy for a, you know, 22, you know, 22, 23 year old um, to, to to make that adjustment so quickly. So, uh, 22, 22. So he's 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 learning. So uh, keep keep it up, bro. Yes, sir. Fast, yes, sir. Fast learner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We, we saw some emotion from you out on the floor. We, we've heard about like the message that you sent to this team and know that you're a competitor. How do you like effectively channel competitiveness individually for yourself in, in, in this series, if that makes sense? Uh, man, it, every game, I, it, honestly, and people say like you play the game like it's your last game. Like it, it feels like it's becoming that for me, like even more so as I've gotten older. Um, I tell these guys all the time, man, like, I'm, I ain't got a long time, man. I'm just out here every day, like, trying to give everything I got. And I want them to see that. I want to dive on the floor. I want to, like, guard post up. So I want to show them I can still move. And um, I want them to follow that. And I think that they've been acceptive, you know, accepting to that and um, understanding my urgency, you know. And, uh, you know, I told this guy, man, just keep, take us along, take us along, you know, with, the, with him because he's, the way his energy and what he brings for us, it's easy for me to want to get up every day and, and, and try to, you know, match that, you know. So um, we, we work well together right now and uh, we just got to keep it going. And uh, back here for you, and um, with the way you guys came out against Phoenix and go up 2-0 and you faced a desperate team in back-to-back -back games, knowing that Denver doesn't want to go down 0-2 going back to Minnesota, what do you draw from games three and four maybe that, that showed you you were able to kind of weather a team's 
big punch really to in order to not go down in such a big hole and able to answer the answer the call on those questions. What do you draw from those games going into game two? Um, those games was tough to win. <clears throat> Last series, yeah, three and four. They came out and played hard. Um, yeah, but it's a lot different, man. You know, Denver is, they won't beat themselves. They won't turn the ball over. Um, they're going to make open shots. So it's going to be tough. I, I can't really draw nothing from that series to this one because Denver is a, the defending champ. So it's going to be tough. We just got to come out and, and play. We got to play better, man. We made, we made a whole bunch of game plan mistakes. That's um, If we keep making those, we're going to beat ourselves because that's a great team over there um, and they're world coach. So we just got to come out and, and, you know, cut that down and make the right plays offensively and we'll be all right.